Raya Ones, this is Miss Gigi coming at you again with another juicy episode. Let's get straight into it. Are you under spiritual attack? How, how would you know? What, what are the signs? Oh my gosh. It's a possibility, Miss Gigi, I don't know. Listen, are you all of a sudden, you just woke up tired, like, I don't feel like going nowhere. I ain't finna do nothing. And then when you go to sleep, it's like you go to sleep real late and then you tossing and turning at night. And then when you at work, it's like, I can't focus. But I was getting all my work done before. And you was doing, you was in line with everything that you were supposed to do. Uh, you, st you stand on your grind. All of a sudden, you done stopped. You woke up, you feeling sad for no apparent reason. You're like, I don't know. I don't want to be bothered. I don't want to go nowhere. I don't do nothing. You know why? That's because you are very, very close to your breakthrough. You are very, very close. You've been doing everything you were supposed to do. You've been following. Uh, you've been minding your black-owned business. you staying out of other people's face. You've been focused. You're, you're being the best you you could be. But... When you pray to when you pray to God, He's not the only one that hears your prayers. The enemy hears when you pray too. So now Satan knows it's almost time for your breakthrough. He said, Oh, she finna get what what God blessed her with. She finna oh, oh let me see how I gotta I gotta um uh, do everything I can to stop this from coming into into fruition because my mission is I want to have more souls than God because God said I would turn souls into stone before Satan have more, before he win more souls than me. God, I mean, he he is really trying to have more, more in, Satan's trying to build up his kingdom just like God trying to build up his kingdom. So he's trying to outdo God. So he's trying to chase um, the royal ones, the ones that are in the kingdom of the Lord, the one that serve God. So he's trying to attack and prevent prevent us from receiving the blessings that the Lord has for us. This is just his agenda. He comes to kill, steal, and destroy. And uh, you are on the edge of your breakthrough. And even... Even there was a conversation, there was a discussion about Job. And Satan had the nerve to say, God, you know, I can't get to him for the head you have around him. So he, did, so when you are prosperous, because Job was the m most righteous man in the Bible. So what his agenda was, he wanted Job to curse God to his face. If you take all that stuff away from him. He, he, he's, he's not going to serve you. He's not going to be, um, he's not going to, he's not going to serve you because of the stuff. So Satan, he tried, he tried to see if, oh, you just vain. His favorite, his favorite, uh, sin is vanity. So let me see if you ain't looking all good, you will still serve God. Cause I know, I know what, what your weakness is. God knows your weakness. This is like Satan know your weakness too. So he would try to attack what he think that will prevent you from serving God. And then he'll say, okay, so lust. Okay, so if I take that man from her, she will stop serving God. So he will uh, spiritually attack that. He going to attack what, what what God put inside of you. God's word, we been exposed to the Lord's word for a minute now. So everybody on earth can't say, even if you don't know God, you've heard somebody speak about God. You have been exposed to the word of God knowingly or unknowingly or willingly or unwillingly. You've heard scriptures and people quote the Bible. So you, you can't say you're not aware. Well, you can, but you you pretty much everybody um, knows some form of, about the Bible, um, the Holy Bible and the God, God words, God, God's word and what he says. So the enemy wants to attack that and so he'll go after the lust like i said he'll go after love because you love that man that woman so much he'll say okay so let me see let me attack what what that is so i'm gonna spiritually attack that part and then he'll go after um 
your your family, the family bond, because God said God is love. So he's going to attack what you know God is love about that. that there's, a, there's a scripture in the Bible for everything. So the enemy will attack that. Satan will go after and attack that part that he know that God's word is because that is the part that you stand on and firm and you believe in God. So he just want to attack that part because that he wants to win more souls in his kingdom. He has a job. He sends out minions. And so, um, and then a lot of people, uh, have this, this thing for money. They want to be successful. And then that's why a lot of people are selling their souls. That's why you, a lot of people, these celebrities and stuff like that. So you start to hear a lot of stuff. So he said, okay, so this is what you want. All right. So, um, let me, let me spiritually attack that. So he'll attack that area just to see what you're going to do, just to see if you're going to fall down on your knees and pray, or you're just going to fall apart. So that's why you are under spiritual attack. It's, it's a test. And um, so you have to stand firm and stand strong. And the money part, the money situation is because the Lord is going to bless you in an abundant manner. So first thing happens is your finances fall apart. You start struggling financially. That struggle is real. It, it gets real, real fast. And um, so that's just a part of, it's all a part of the spiritual attack. And you just don't, you know, feel like getting up and uh, doing the certain things that you used to do every single day at the same time. It's because you're finna grow and prosper in that area. That's why you're under spiritual attack. Because he said, you are, you, you're finna be, I know what God has for you. Because, you know, Satan was um, God's chosen angel. He was the most beautiful angel. In fact, his name was Lucifer. And he knows the scripture. He knows the Bible just as well as uh, God, just as well as the angels. And so just as well as you and me. In fact, he knows the Bible better than you and me. He knows God's, um, he knows the actions of God more than what we know that's why he attacks because he say oh they weak i know the power of the god i know your i know your god i know your god but you don't know your god or you think you know your god but i know the god you serve but i also know your weakness so i'm gonna attack your weakness to piss off your god and also take away your steal your destiny mess up your mess with your future because i don't want you to Receive what God, I know God has for you. And so um, you got to be mindful and stand firm and get through this time. Because we, you will receive what God has for you. Because Jeremiah says, I know the plans I has for you and plans to prosper you. And they have an expected end. But this is why you're under um, spiritual attack. Because you are about to be blessed and seedingly and abundantly above all we ask, so we shall think according to the power that worketh in us. Press down, shaking together, running over, cause men to give unto thy bosom. All right, royal ones, let me know what you think. Which area of your life are you under spiritual attack? Let me know. Are you spiritual attack under spiritual attack at home? Are you at spiritual attack at work? Are you at spiritual attack at at your job or um, your friendship or your your marriage, where are you under spiritual attack? Because let me remind you, that's going to be your greatest, um, your blessing is coming out of it. That's where your greatest reward is going to come from out of that area that's being heavily, heavily attacked. So um, let me know where are you being attacked at. Meet me in the comment section. Don't Thank you so much for listening to this message. Don't forget to comment, share, like, and subscribe. Love, hugs, kisses. Bye.